we got these chuggers out here. Oh, they're big blue runners, bro. Look at all, and uh, we got big blue runners chasing them. If you can see over the side, the blue, blue runners are coming up hitting on these poppers. And these poppers are a very effective technique to get these yellow fin, black fin tuna up. Because they just, as you can see, they just sort of float on the surface and you give it a tug and it bloop and see that little smoke bubble trail it throws out? Gives the fish something really to key in on. But basically what you do is you throw it out just as far as you can. Let it sit for a second, get your line tight. Get your line tight so then, then when you jerk it, it and give it a very violent, very decisive jerk. Oh, crushed him. Look at the bait him. jumping. Oh, oh, we got something back here. Is that our bait that close? This one's close, I know. Yeah, we, we need, really need these baits 100 yards behind the boat. Chris, tell me a little bit about the presentation, what you're trying to create, what you're trying to, you know, get those fish to see to, to draw that strike. Uh, well, with the bait spread, we, we, we place our baits different lengths from the boat, uh, depending on how actively they're feeding. If, like right now, they're not feeding aggressively on the surface, they're, they're down a little bit, so we'll put our bait, baits a little farther behind the boat. Okay. Uh, our long bait will tend to be maybe 75 to 100 yards back. Okay. Uh, that way, as you cross over the fish, you're, you're tended to, to drive them down. Right. And as the boat gets off the school, then they will tend to come back up and they'll notice those baits, you know, fluttering in that, in that water column. As we're going across the fish, we'll, we'll actually throw some chum out in the mix also to try to give some, some extra, you know, flash and, 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 and glitter down there for them to see to, to target in on. Uh, and, and the other baits will be staggered, like I say, maybe 25 to, to 30 yards closer as, as each one, just to make sure we have different areas covered. In case they the come column. back up quick, right behind exactly. the boat. Gotcha. Exactly. Gotcha. Very interesting. 10 seconds, look at, chunk, they're all out of the water. They're going nuts right there. Right? Yeah, look at that Holy shit, dude. smokes, bro, look at that. Oh, God, did you see that? Look, look oh, wow. Lord! They did good. That's gonna be awesome. Dude, look at them, look at them. Awesome. Unbelievable, dude. Dude, is this killer or what? Look at that, wow. We've got big schools of Nice size yellowfin tuna, 40, 50, 60, 70 pounders, kind of skyrocketing all over this area. Uh, and then every now and then we'll get some schools of smaller fish, big blue runners, things like that, um, that come to the surface too, probably being chased by the tuna, I would imagine. Um, but there's a lot of, had a big aerial shot right there. So really interesting when you get out here in this big, deep blue water, you never know what you're going to see. It's absolutely incredible. It really is. You know, you can sit around for two, three hours and nothing's going on. The seas are quiet. And then all of a sudden somebody hits a light switch and the feeding begins and it's just crazy. So it's really, really neat. It's really something to see. Woo! Did you hear that drag screaming? He crushed that popper. I've never had one eat a popper before. That was so ridiculous. Just like normal, just like topwater fishing inshore, it's almost better if you're looking somewhere else so you don't see it. Did, did you see it though? Uh, afterwards. Afterwards, cool. I felt it first and then looked over there and saw it. How's it feel on that light rod there, big it's guy? Incredible. That's fun, isn't it? I love spinning rod fishing, period. Crazy run too, crazy run. This really light rod with super action on it. All bent over. <laughs> super cool, super cool stuff. Swing on over this way, Daddy-o. For those of you watching at home, that's how you do it. That's how you do it right there. 